we just watched um, The Simpsons Old Money, season Easy. 2, episode, I believe, 19, possibly, I'm getting it, because it's a very long season. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? In fact, I think it's actually 17. I think it's episode 29 overall. But anyway, Old Money is the episode where Abraham Simpson, the Grandpa Simpson. Grandpa, Grandpa Simpson, yes. The artist formerly known as Grandpa Simpson. Yep. He um, He's depressed because um, his family's ignoring him. Then he, he falls in love in the senior citizen's home. <laughs> What's it called? The retirement the castle. Retirement castle. Yeah. He falls in love with a woman he meets there in the called pill. Called B. Called B in the pill aisle. And then um, Homer drags him away from her thinking that she's a chair. And um, she dies while he's away. He can't see her for one last time. And he holds a resentment against Homer. And then he inherits a hundred grand. And then he tries to think of ways to spend his money. And, uh, and then he reconciles with Homer by being vi after being visited by a ghost. <laughs> and, uh, and then he spends his money on the retirement castle. If you haven't guessed yet, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> but that's our love of a place. Yes. Uh, this is one of them where it's an early one and the plot just goes in loads and loads of directions without fitting into one sort of thing. Again, I feel like... Well, I think we talked about it in the last episode. Oh, that yeah. when the Simpson writers be write when we write the seasons, they go off like on a little holiday together. Yeah. And they'll all just like chuck ideas out. Yeah. You know, like one line ideas and then the writers will go off and elaborate. Right. Yeah. And they'll assign it to like each writer. Grandpa gets a girlfriend. <laughs> now write a script about it. Yeah. And they didn't quite know where to take it, we didn't quite know what to do. Uh, so uh, as a result, I think we've got, a, I think, uh, quite a decent episode. I uh, I do like this episode. I liked it. I think it's it's got some really funny moments in it. Yeah. 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 And it's quite it's quite affecting. I thought. Yeah. Relatively affecting near the end. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not. It would have worked with. It would have worked better if there was more development of the B character. Yeah. She's there for two minutes and then dies. Yeah. We don't really feel Grandpa and her yeah. love before he's like. No. His sap is. His sadness takes up too much of the episode yeah. when it's not been established. Because it basically seems as if they were together for a day. Yeah. And, a, and it looks like all they've done is just walk on the beach together and erotically eat pills. Yes. And well, that's all we seem well, to do. Well, subtly, you'll oh, notice yeah. they're actually together for a month. Oh, yes. Because they met on that day, which is the third Sunday. Oh, yes, and then yes, they, yes. They, the, they left on the, on the next um, last yes. Sunday, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. Yeah, so this episode yeah. takes care of place over a month. Oh, my God. I know. But it's you like see, much of your characters grow up before your eyes. Yes, it's like uh, Richard oh. Linklater's Boyhood. Oh, Boyhood. Yeah. The masterpiece. The masterpiece. But yes, he could have done with more development of, of that. He could have yeah. done with maybe staying in one place more. Yeah. This is another one where there's a lot of cutaways and weird gags that don't really go anywhere. Like the, uh, what was that, <coughs> there was, what was that weird one? What? There was like, it's literally just not funny. Uh, I don't know, like, like Dr. Marvin Moreau makes a comeback. He does. Um, and like, they, they try and do a scene where Marge puts her onto like a self-help telephone line thing and Dr. Marvin was like, If you got a strange time wife, press one. And it's, good. it's, like, it's not funny. No. And there's another scene where Dr. Marvin Manor suggests like what he wants for body for and he wants to like make well he, he's he's already he, he wants to make like this basically like in a bubble where someone can live inside, you know. You can sit, it feeds you, it washes you. <laughs> yeah. He's like and grandpa's like, Oh, so how much does it cost to make? Oh no, it's a time it made. I wanna buy a small child and raise it up inside of it. Because he'll he'll grow up and have resentment against me. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Now you see, this episode you can tell it's padded because there's a, there's a scene where basically Grandpa's giving all his money away and a bunch of people like pitch ideas and that would be funny if it was two or three, but yeah. about seven or eight. It goes on too long, doesn't it? It goes on for ages. <laughs> see if you've got Otto. You've got Otto, Marvin Monroe, um, Bart. Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns, Lisa. Um, <sighs> Dr. P Professor Frank. Professor Frank. <laughs> but his was genuinely funny, the oh, death ray. Yeah. Yes, um, so, lots of little moments that are good, but overall a bit of a mess. Also, the fact that they use a ghost as a story oh, yeah, 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 device yeah. is really weird. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I think we're meant to believe it's in his head. Yeah. But it's still, it's pretty lazy, isn't it? Like, Very lazy. It's basically to get him from point A, where he wants to waste his money, 
to point B where he wants to give it away. Yeah. And that's that's all it is. And that's it, it. Is they couldn't find the more lyrical way of doing that than just a uh, shit, uh, get a ghost in there. <laughs> Throw a ghost in there, John. <laughs> Speed the story up. This is this was the episode where um, a young M Night Shyamalan was the. <laughs> oh week. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was he was swiftly gotten rid of. Yeah. Well, he wanted a twist ending where where Grandpa would walk out of the retirement home and like aliens would be watching him. Oh. And, yeah, and the whole Simpsons is taking place on an alien ant farm. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, he was um, he was sacked for that. Yeah, qu qu quickly sacked. Yeah. Quickly sacked. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so what else happens in this episode? I say it's so one where a lot of things happen and it's not very memorable because it's so quick. Yeah. Like I, I'd forgotten about. I've seen this one a few times before, and I've totally forgotten about the thing where Grandpa wants to go gamble his money away right at the end. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Doesn't really work. No. I do find though that the relationship between the most interesting bit I think is the bit with Homer and Grandpa. Oh yeah. Which isn't really explored. No. So basically, uh, Grandpa's resentful of to towards Homer for a little bit, but not very long because. Um, because Homer stopped him from being with B for the, her yeah. last day, and that's I think quite interesting ground to go on. Yeah. This is, and also it's it's a storyline that at this point in the show hadn't really been done. No. There's like a, a sadness to the grandpa character. Yeah, yeah. That they would get um. Can you think of any great grandpa episodes? Uh, I love the one where he makes the sex drive potion. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. And then they go around like. Uh, I love that episode, that's really funny. Oh, where it ends with the building burning down, it's like, son, dad! Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a great one. And I love the one where, um, you see, I think the best ones with him are sort of whimsical ones. Yeah. I love the, the Hellcats one. Oh, yeah, no, the, the, the Flying Hellfish. Flying Hellfish, I love that's that it. one, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, but when it's grounded, I don't think it's as strong. No. Um, it almost feels like they got the order wrong. The order wrong. Like, I think yeah. it'd be more effective if... Grandpa was just spending his money on really frivolous things, and then he's like, "Oh fuck, I want to gamble it all away." And then Homer shows him the lie, and he's like, "No, don't, don't gamble it away. You're basically gonna throw away B's fortune, and you know this could go to someone who really needs it. Or Lisa could have done it, or something." And Grandpa would have been like, "Oh crap, yeah, I'd better do something." So I don't know. It almost feels like maybe got the order. Well, it doesn't really make the dramatic logical. order mixed up. It doesn't make much logical sense because. Um Grandpa is wanting to gamble in order to win more money to to do it <coughs> to um to give more money away. Yeah. But it's not really a very logical way no. of doing that. Surely he could have created a business to employ the people yeah. who were unemployed and struggling. Yeah. And that would have produced more money to do it. Oh it just needed to fill up yeah. three more minutes. That's true. Anyway, this episode was dreadful because it had a socialist message as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what kind of, of capitalism is that? He goes helping people rather than letting them help themselves. Ah, oh, shocking. Fucking lefties. And uh, for that for that reason, I'm giving this episode a one. <laughs> I didn't even go. I didn't even give it a negative one. You give it a negative one. Negative one. A negative one. This episode should get itself off of any kind of help and, <laughs> and work for its ones. <laughs> yes. What would you give this episode out of ten? I would give it six. Yeah, six. Six. It's not a bad episode. It's just got a lot, a hell of a lot of problems, and some really weird um, callbacks. Yeah. Doctor Jock is back. Oh, Jock. There's a really weird scene where we're all lining up outside the retirement castle, and there's like a female Spock there for some reason. Yeah. The Joker, Darth Vader, the sushi barman from. Oh yeah. Uh, he's got a mouth missing all of a sudden. <laughs> and he's like, massive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Weird. Weird. Yeah. So yeah, six out of ten. Fairly average for season two. My favourite bit would have been. I thought it was quite good when they were at the cup place safari. Oh yeah. That was probably the highlight of the episode. Yeah, it's quite funny. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's an average episode again. So season two so far is looking to have a few highlights. And a step up from, certainly a step up from <laughs> season one. But there's, not, no, there's no episode as bad as some Enchanted Evening. No. But not the masterpiece that some fans think it is, I'd say. Mm. 